Quit hogging the ball, Bobby. Okay, let's huddle up, team. Come on in. That's something important to say. Being on a team, it's about the teamwork. And with teamwork, you can achieve your dreams. And, wait a second, I'm on to something. And dream rhymes with team. Oh, fuck! It would become the most influential sports catchphrase of all time. And one coach with a stroke of genius was started all. He's not coming back, is he? Teams, dreams, has to be powerful, catchy, inspiring. How about teamwork makes the dream work? Not now, Cheryl. Can't you see him trying to inspire a generation of young athletes here? You know how you can help is by making me those special pork chops. You know, the ones with the scrunchy round things. You mean breadcrumbs? There we go, there we go. Look at this teamwork we have. They are called breadcrumbs. And teamwork makes the dream obsolete. Oh, fuck. Well, let's get out there, folks. And remember, there's no I in team. What did you just say? There's no I in team. What? It doesn't take a genius to come up with a little saying. Oh, fuck. The pursuit of the perfect catchphrase tormented him. <sighs> Woman makes catchphrase today wins billions. Damn it, I am running out of time! Just when all hope was lost. All right, huddle up. I want you to know that I believe in this team. And what really matters is that this team can be as great as I believe it can be. Because teamwork makes the dream work. Not now, Cheryl. Can't you see I'm trying to give an impassioned speech? What? It doesn't take a genius to come up with a little saying. Quitters Quit never, never win. win. And I'm Henry, Henry Ford, Ford from, from the car. car. Everyone here is working together, making the dream work. Because teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> and it was history from there. I did it. I did it. Oh, fuck you. When he said teamwork, it made me think about teamwork. And then, and then I just made the dream work. Hearing that catchphrase? Changed the course of my entire life. He said the F word a lot, like a lot. It was so obvious. I said it like the second he got home. But I'm not one to put the I in Cheryl. <laughs> it's an E and a Y.